Manchester United hatch clever FFP transfer plan to solve desperate Marcus Rashford dilemma. Paris Saint-Germain star Xavi Simons could be available for loan this summer to solve Man United's double long-term problem Manchester United's summer transfer plans now seem to be in motion three weeks after the 2023-24 campaign ended. The decision to stick with Eric Ten Hag means the process has started in shaping the squad. New players will arrive at Old Trafford in the club's attempt to drastically improve on the eighth-placed finish in the Premier League. However, due to the well-documented limitations in the market due to the league's profit and sustainability rules, PSR, Ineos and Sir Jim Ratcliffe face a summer of smart and careful recruitment. A bid of £43 million for Jerry Brainthward has already been made, and turned down, with Everton demanding close to £70 million. It isn't yet known whether United will return with an improved offer but it does show that the hierarchy are prepared to spend what is necessary. As well as a new central defender, United need another holding midfielder and striker. There are also some doubts over the options out wide with Anthony failing to discover any consistency and Jadon Sancho likely to leave. Again, Ratcliffe and Ten Hag must be clever in their recruitment process and that's why the impressive Xavi Simons is a great option for United to consider. For many reasons. French outlet L'Equipe have reported this weekend that United have joined Arsenal and Manchester City in the fiercely contested race to sign the Paris Saint-Germain attacker. Simons left PSG in 2022 to join PSV Eindhoven, where he scored 19 goals and 8 assists. His sensational form resulted in PSG triggering a £5 million buyback clause in his contract last summer before he was immediately loaned out to RB Leipzig. His form continued to fly high with an impressive 8 goals and 11 assists in the Bundesliga. Despite impressing in Germany, his place in Luis Enrique's PSG team is unclear. The report from France suggests there are three options for Simons, be integrated back into the PSG team, be sold permanently or leave on loan. He is currently part of the Netherlands squad for Euro 2024 but interest is already accelerating. Man United have reportedly joined the race to sign the talented forward with Arsenal, Man City and Bayern Munich. Despite holding a market value of €80 million, Euros, £67.7 million, pounds, via Transfermarkt, Simon's case presents a brilliant deal for Ratcliffe. Due to a clause in his contract at PSG, a permanent deal would see a large sum of that fee be paid to PSV. Right now, another loan move is more likely meaning United would avoid having to splash big to sign him. Where would he fit into United? The first impressive attribute of Simons is his ability to play in two completely different roles. At PSV, he played 19 games, 7 goals and 6 assists, at left wing and 17 games, 11 goals and 4 assists, as the central attacking midfielder. For RB Leipzig, he played 23 times on the left, 5 goals and 7 assists, and 18 times on the right, 5 goals and 5 assists, although Marco Rose's style of play often saw him and Danny Olmo play as playmakers with the two wingbacks providing width.as the heat map above shows, Simon spent much of his time in the left third of the pitch. From that position, he managed to complete 102 passes into the final third and 187 progressive passes. His influence in Leipzig's attack was key with him recording an impressive 5.97 shot creating actions per 90 minutes. Where would he fit into the United team? His adaptability means he could help Ten Hag solve two different problems, including the burden currently weighing on Marcus Rashford's shoulders. The forward's undesirable form has led to him being linked with a transfer out of Manchester, but in reality, some quality competition is all he needs. Simons is also the ideal profile to challenge Bruno Fernandes as Ten Hag's most offensive midfielder. The Portugal international, like Rashford, has often dipped in his performances due to the lack of rest. The player himself inserted a clause in his PSG contract that means he decides which club to play for if he has options. With a Dutch manager in charge, United may be in a greater position to sign the playmaker this summer, even if it is just temporary for one year, Manchester United came close to landing the signature of Xavi Simons from Paris Saint-Germain last summer, according to German publication Bild. The Dutchman was re-signed by Les Parisiens from PSV Eindhoven with a €6 million Euros buyback clause last year and he was subsequently loaned out to RB Leipzig, however, Bild claimed that United made a transfer proposal worth €60 million Euros before his move to Germany. 
Les Parisians had already agreed a deal with the Red Devils, but a move did not materialize in the end due to the players' refusal to make the switch to Manchester. Simons was not convinced by the transfer offer and went on to join Leipzig on loan where he has been impressive with 9 goals and 15 assists from 42 outings. Leipzig are said to be keen on retaining his services, likely on loan. It is left to be seen whether United will make a fresh approach to sign the Netherlands star. Man United unlikely to make fresh move for Simons. Simons was reportedly a top target to bolster United's attack, but the winger had other plans in mind. We are not surprised over his decision, considering he was probably concerned about his playing time. After last season's form, Marcus Rashford was an assured starter on the left wing for manager Eric Ten Hag. Meanwhile, United had Anthony, Jadon Sancho and Alejandro Garnacho competing for the right wing role. This probably played a big part in Simon's decision to snub United for regular first team action at Leipzig. The Red Devils have not revived their interest ahead of the summer, but we don't see a deal happening. Aside from competition for places, United have also not qualified for the Champions League next term. This could be a massive stumbling block towards signing Simons from the current League One holders. Man United handed João Neves boost as Benfica star responds to contract offer. João Neves has turned down Benfica's offer of a new contract amid interest from Manchester United. United are keen to bring in a new midfielder this summer to replace Casemiro with clubs in Saudi Arabia interested in signing he Brazil international. Neves has emerged as a transfer target for the Premier League side with reports in Portugal suggesting Benfica have already rejected an offer of £51 million. The 19-year-old has a release clause of £105 million, the same fee Chelsea were forced to pay up for Enzo Fernandes 18 months ago, with Benfica desperate to keep him at the club for at least one more season. Benfica have already discussed a new contract with the player with a salary increase, record report. But Neves has rejected that proposal as speculation mounts over a summer move. Should Neves leave, Benfica president Rui Costa wants a fee as close to that release clause as possible, but the report suggests negotiations could start at £85 million. Neves has linked up with United captain Bruno Fernandes with both players set to feature for Portugal at this summer's European Championship. Fernandes has previously hailed the rise of the young midfielder, believing United should be in the market for his services. But Bernardo Silva, also in the Portugal squad, has urged Neves to consider a move to Manchester City, it's not easy. He's a player who, due to the success he had last season, has many clubs that want him, Silva said. As a Portuguese and a player I like, I would like to see him by my side. But I want the best for him. I don't need to convince him. Joao Neves is already convincing, with the way he works, with the energy he brings to the game. It will be easy for many clubs to enter the race. Let him make his decision, let it be the best for him. If he continues with this energy, he has a very good future ahead of him. Dutch delight Man United planning bid for Bayern Munich's Dutch defender Matthijs de Ligt as German set price demands. De Ligt has broken his silence on his future Manchester United are reportedly planning a bid for Matthijs de Ligt. The Red Devils are in the market for a central defender this summer after Rafael Varane left on a free transfer, other would-be regular options Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof have uncertain futures at the club. It is understood Man United have already agreed terms with Jerry Branthwaite over a transfer, but are some way short of Everton's £70 million asking price after submitting an opening £43 million offer. And Man United have now been handed a price quote for another target in Bayern Munich defender De Ligt. The Dutchman is familiar with Man United boss Eric Ten had given the pair work together when he was a teen at Ajax, even going so far as to be appointed captain, however, according to Sky Germany, the German giants have slapped a £42 million price tag on the 24-year-old. The outlet says Man United have began internal discussions over a potential deal. While De Ligt is right-footed as opposed to Branthwaite's left, he is perfectly capable of playing on the left side of defence and therefore seen as an alternative option to the England defender. De Ligt joined Bayern from Juventus in 2022 for £65.6 million and has gone on to make 73 appearances for them amid an injury-riddled two-year spell, his contract with the club runs to 2027. Speaking ahead of the Netherlands opening Euro 2024 game against Poland later today, 
Mr. Ligt left his club future open. He said, I've already said this is not the time for me to think about it. We're playing at the Euros now and that's very important for me and the national team. That's why I can't say now what I think about this situation. But what I can say is that I've now played my second season at Bayern, I'm very happy. For now I'm focused on the Euros and then we'll see what happens. Manchester United, given asking price by Bayern Munich for Matthijs de Ligt, after having £43 million offer for Gerrit Branthwaite rejected by Everton. Man United have made acquiring a central defender a priority this summer. Red Devils had a £43 million offer for Everton's Gerrit Branthwaite rejected this week. Listen to it's all kicking off. I wouldn't touch Nagelsmann with a barge pole. Bayern Munich will demand £42 million from Manchester United for defender Matthijs de Ligt, according to reports in Germany. The Red Devils are in the market for a new central defender, following the departure of Raphael Varane. Their injury hit 2023-24 campaign saw them turn to veteran Johnny Evans and even defensive midfielder Casemiro. United are in the driving seat to land Everton youngster Jerry Branthwaite and are expected to improve upon their opening £43 million bid that was dismissed by the Toffees this week. However, the Goodison Park Club's valuation of £75 million for the 21-year-old could result in United walking away from discussions and, according to Sky Germany, turning their attention to delight. They report that the Old Trafford side have begun internal discussions over a move for the 24-year-old, who is currently on international duty with the Netherlands at Euro 2024. The German giants are reported to be prepared to sell the defender for a fee in the region of 50 million euros, 42 million pounds. A sale at that price would represent a loss for the Bavarians, who signed the Dutchman from Ajax for 65.6 million pounds only two years ago. The light could be reunited with his former Ajax manager Eric Ten Hag at Old Trafford after the coach was confirmed to be staying in the United dugout following weeks of speculation over his job. The light has not fared particularly well at the Allianz Arena since departing for Germany, with his most recent campaign hampered by injury and loss of form. He started only 16 games in the Bundesliga as Bayern failed to win a trophy for the first time in 12 years. He dismissed talk about his future when asked this week and insisted that his focus was on the national team. I've already said this is not the time for me to think about it. He said. We're playing at the Euros now and that's very important for me and the national team. That's why I can't say now what I think about this situation. But what I can say is that I've now played my second season at Bayern, I'm very happy. For now I'm focused on the Euros and then we'll see what happens. Netherlands begin their Euro 2024 campaign against Poland in Hamburg on Sunday afternoon. Ronald Koeman's side will then take on France before meeting Austria in their final Group D match on June 25. Elsewhere, Jean-Claire Todibo of Nice, the other club in Eurozone, remains an option as another centre-back signing this summer. Their transfer budget will depend on outgoings, with a number of players, including Mason Greenwood, set to leave the club.